let's take a look at some Hot Wheels cool classics. This will be the D case assortment. These arrived in the USA around November 2013. Here are the six cars in this batch. They are not in equal amounts. Some cars are going to have two, some are going to have three of each. I'm going to go ahead and show them in order, 19 through 24, and on the back of the package they were shown in the same order. By the way, this car here, that's the uh, Custom Auto. That's the car that was depicted on the original Hot Wheels Red Lines. Custom Auto. Mattel has made that casting, but it is only for use right now in their online releases. We will not be seeing that this year in the Cole Classics. Probably won't see it next year either. Chevelle SS Express. Uh, I really like these big body, the early 70s models. This root beer color is pretty nice. Now they say Chevelle SS Express on the card, but if you look at the base, the base actually shows 70 Chevy Chevelle SS. So uh, it says 70 on the base and not on the card. It's not unusual for Mattel to use a different name on the package than it says on the base. For this model here, it does have the same name. The root beer brown was pretty nice on the, the SS I showed you already. It had the clear windows. This one has pink windows to go along with the overall presentation of the 64 Impala. I really like it. It looks good with the uh, Spectra Frost paint treatment. Looks really good. If you have a uh, lady who likes to collect and they like pink, this would be an excellent pickup for them. By the way, I'm going to refresh your memory in case you didn't know. Yes, some packages have red cars, some have blue cars. And people are going to say, well, the red car is one per case, so they're more rare. But you're going to see soon. I'm going to show you in just a second. Just because it's one per case doesn't mean it's rare. It's not really rare. Next up, Plymouth Duster Thruster. Ah, nice to see this car back. Again, one red, two blue. Kind of has an original um, antifreeze kind of look to it. I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not sure if that's the actual name. Plymouth Duster Thruster. Once again, says it on the card. But the base is just going to say Plymouth Duster. 1957 Chrysler 300. Two cars are my favorites in this batch, basically for color presentation. The 64 Impala and this one right here, 1957 Chrysler 300. Really love the color, but I also like the, the body styling. This was released in a couple releases, I think Boulevard. I don't, I don't remember if I got the red version. I was looking to see what previous colors have been released. I don't remember if I found the red version or not. So I'm really happy to have this one here. Now I was talking about uh, red cards being more rare than blue. No. Well, there's only two per case of this model here. One red, one blue. So that means the red is not all that rare. Well, the card said 1957 Chrysler 300. The base just says Chrysler 300. Scratch that. It was hard to see. It says uh, Chrysler 300C. It's really hard to make out that C. Dixie Challenger, number 23 for this series. Nice blue color. This is, I believe, what the uh, Roger Dodger is based on. If, if you collect the Roger Dodger, are you picking up this guy too? one of each and yeah the name on the base it doesn't say Dixie Challenger it says 70 Dodge Challenger last but not least the 68 Hemi Barracuda last but not least the 68 Hemi Barracuda nice red color it's got a lot of tamples on it though kind of hides the uh, specialness of the Spectra Frost paint treatment. 
68 Hemi Barracuda on the card and on the base just Hemi Barracuda. You guys picking any of these up? I already told you my two favorite of these two here. Love the color on both of these. I love this car. I have a lot of colors of this car here. And the uh, 57 Chrysler 300. Yep. Glad to finally get uh, this model in my collection. Don't remember if I found the Boulevard, uh, the red version. That one was sweet. But uh, anyways, happy collecting. Bye-bye.